<laughs> Baby cooking. Look at that. Yeah, y'all need to give me a recipe so I can pretend like I cook too. I was like, I should have made rice and stuff like that. The mac and cheese or whatever. This is what it is. This goes better with rice. Rice and bangs. Or just rice. Rice and bangs. <laughs> I taught you how to cook, babe. School. Show me how to chop. What school? <laughs> what school? Middle school. Really? <laughs> Are you telling the truth? Well, they teach me how to chop. They ain't gonna chop your family. You took home economics? Yeah, something like that. What made you take home economics? Well, I didn't have a choice. <laughs> what do you mean you didn't have a choice? I'll tell you. I'll tell you why. <laughs> yeah, he's trying to keep secrets from y'all. Y'all hear that? He'll tell me why. <laughs> Meet it after I turn this camera off. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, you know I think your stories are so beautiful. They are. He really has some good knucklehead stories. <laughs> Cutting board is too small. <laughs> Yo, he told me the story. I can't believe he didn't shit. Tell, all right, tell us why. Why did you have to take him up there? Because in, in middle school. I used to want to hang around with the with the bad kids. Cause I think they I thought they was cool. But they was cool. They was cool people, man. Good people. I mean, you get to know them. They're not bad. So so I used to behave bad, so they put me into the that finally put me in the class. Mr. Corrado's class. Um, he was a chef and a teacher. So we used to make breakfast for the teachers in the morning time our class and then we was able to eat on off the food that we made too so we had different breakfasts from, from everybody else so you used to have all these bad mostly boys in the class cooking <laughs> the baddest the baddest the baddest class cooking <laughs> and then we used to have gym they used to not have gym there like with the weights and everything but our classroom had weights and everything so he, he got them to um, he got he got them to to get some weights and some some machines in the class or a bench so we can steam off our energy out in the classroom. <laughs> I told you he always has the best stories. I, oh, baby, baby. But as you can see, he feels some kind of way. That's why he didn't want to tell y'all. <laughs> No. She got to edit that out. No. Yes. No. Why? Maybe you report you. What? <laughs> I'm gonna report you. Put it, you're going to put it when you ask me a question and I answer it. I know, but what I love about your stories, what I love about all of our stories is it just teaches something about life. You know, we all come from these different situations and stuff in life, and but look at us now. Yeah. You know? I'm still chopping. He's still chopping because <laughs> he wants to be bad. <laughs> you know, I love it. The best teachers that I had was Miss Montek and Mr. Collado. Collado was in junior high and Montek was in elementary. Y'all, dinner is served. Baby, even made the pico de gallo he actually went to the store because he was like i'm gonna make pico de gallo y'all know someone like me would have just bought it from the tin but no nope, baby was over there chopping good morning guys i feel like it's baby's first day of school look at him
he is going back to work today. His quarantine is officially over. How do you feel? Survival. Survival. <laughs> he and I did not come down with anything. I had a little bit of a sore throat for a second around when we first got off the ship. But you know what? Half the time I usually end up with a cold and a sore throat and I usually lose my voice after coming off of vacations anyway. Um, yeah, but nothing further developed. I just took some good old airborne and we was doing those treatments and drinking water and stuff, but that was about it. But baby's going back to work. Um, so we had him a hearty breakfast of oatmeal. Look at all the little oatmeal paraphernalia. I still have to make mine at, when I get ready to eat breakfast. He's getting his coffee together. He has his lunch. You got your snacks, baby? Are those are your vitamins? Yeah, so that's what it is. I'm still here. As y'all know, I will be over here. I'm going to set up my workstation. I got my my um, other laptop, my monitor. I'm going to set up my workstation right here. So I'll be working all day. And I'm going to make me a schedule myself so that I can be super productive. Because I tell you, this work from home life definitely takes some adjusting too. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll be sitting there and it's like 5 p.m. You'll be like, where did the day go? What's going on? What did I really achieve? So we're gonna achieve some stuff. So I say all of that to say, guys, thank you all for joining us on this departure, this quarantine journey. What we are gonna do is get back to business as usual and go back to where we left off in our relationship and that was June of 2019. So the videos are gonna pick up back from there, hope you're not confused, and then continue going in chronological order and we'll catch up with whatever we're doing from this point forward on here. In the sequential order of things okay thank y'all for joining us don't forget to subscribe don't forget to thumbs up and leave a comment if you want to talk about anything especially how this quarantine period is going for you all babe works at a hospital so keep us in your prayers <laughs> keep us in your prayers that's the hot spot <laughs> shoot um so yeah. Babe, you wanna say anything to them? He getting his coffee together. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's like six in the morning. I gotta get used to this morning thing. Again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've been used to it because I do get up this time and earlier to start working. So yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm usually, I usually up. wake up like around nine. Yeah, he's usually in the bed snuggled up and Having Enjoy his best life. life. <laughs> yeah. So, alright y'all. Holla at y'all in the next video. Hey y'all. <laughs> He's back. <laughs> He's back. That's 4 o'clock. 5 o'clock already, baby. We thought we said he was going to work, right? Well, I have to wait for a phone call. From the doctor. Mm -hmm. And it's hot as crap in here. No, it's not. Can I put this in? For now, no, now he coming trying to disturb my work environment. <laughs> Get out. We're supposed to be six feet apart. <laughs> Go. Yeah, I'm burning up. Touch me. Don't say you burning up. We're waiting for the doctor to call you. <laughs> it is not. Like, he, down, he stripped down to his tank top. He was all dressed. <laughs> I'm still on his stomach in. He was all. <laughs> he was all dressed for work. He came in and started stripping. Like, what are you doing? I was supposed to have peace today. I was supposed to get stuff done today. I can't get things done when he's here distracting me. Oh, I, he don't look distracted though, does he? Babe, give me attention. <laughs> mm -hmm. Show them how you distract me. <laughs> My baby. Mm -hmm. He's the best, most understanding boyfriend in the world. He lets me man. Do I? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I just hit her with her own punchlines. Sometimes you gotta listen because sometimes you can use what you listen to your advantages. Advantages? No, see, you can't even say it. Advantage. Advantage. Yeah. That's what you get. <laughs> Whatever. So, so what you're saying is, so that you can use it against me later in the future? No, because it'll get you out of trouble. Because she does say good stuff. So we can't trust. Him, can we, y'all? <laughs> can we trust him? He can't be trusted. All right, let me go. I gotta. Yeah, she got to cook. Yeah, I'm hungry. What you gonna make? I'm gonna make some oatmeal. Oh, oatmeal. I want to see how you make it. See, all right, and this is where we go wrong. Let me tell you why. Why? This is what y'all don't know about Jay. Y'all probably do know it. Jay is a doer. He loves doing stuff. And if you do anything around him, he's going to want to learn. And he's going to watch and he's going to observe. Next thing you know, he's doing it. That's good. That's good. You that, do it with that, everything. That's what makes me, me. It does. You can't stop me being me, especially if something positive. You know and so saying? I make the oatmeal. He's so, gonna watch. Next thing you know, he's making oatmeal every day. That's what he does, babe. Tell them how you learn how to. Was good. How you learn how to do? All right. So he can do marble floors. He can clean them and what else? Like polish them. Polished marble floors. Guess how this ninja learned how to do it? He worked for a company and they hired somebody to do marble floors and he watched them. <laughs> Next thing you know, he's the marble floor guy <laughs> and the company started paying him extra to do the marble floors. Yeah. They used to always send me, watch, learn, especially when we get like new contracts, they'll have me go into the building to observe and see how many people doing what. So, yeah. Little CIA agent. So look, <laughs> he picks up really fast with stuff. And so he'll just watch and learn. I said, you know, that's why he can fix anything. Even though I'd be trying to discourage him. But he will look and he'd be like. I got I got projects right now. I got two iWatches to fix. I got a iPad and an iPhone 6 to fix. That I never fixed. Oh, I, I fixed the iPhone 6 before. Yeah, guess what? He will probably start doing my hair and my eyelashes. I have complete. And he wanted to. Remember, you was like. I have complete yeah, confidence. I got a picture of my schedule. Yes, he will learn and he will be the one doing it. Learn how to cut my hair. Yup. So he the one up in here. He ain't never gonna look like he need a haircut because he do it himself. But that's what he do. Cut my hair today. He watches, observes, and he just starts doing it. And you be like, really? Like right now, my biggest project is his website. Yeah, he's doing that, but he ain't did a edited a video yet. Why? Because you be hogging up your computer. Oh yeah, because he he would need my computer to do it. What's the point of that? <laughs> I have an editor thing here, but I don't know how good it is. Yeah, he doesn't have iMovie. He doesn't have a Mac. I could probably cut it and send it to you. Well, no, it's too hard. Anybody to got send time for it. To file. Anybody got time for all that? All right, y'all, let me... If you, um, a, if you put it in an external drive... Mm -hmm. Let me get my breakfast together and then get your breakfast. You know, I was dreaming. I know, I was dreaming you want me to write of down your list that you have to do today. He'll do that too. <laughs> I was dreaming of what you I dreaming? needed to do. No, oh. for work. So I know exactly you what I need here, to right? do. Yeah, I was dreaming. You dream? I you forgot dream? what you my dream? dream dream was. I had a dream last night. Yeah. My baby dream. That means you had good sleep. How you woke up with your back? That it hurt. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if you see me. I was felt like I was having back spasms wow. against that wall. I wanted to go get some water. I couldn't. Oh, you could have bent down because you got like a sharp pain. Or yeah, something? my lower oh, back. Yeah, be those. Uh, so. Well, Jay, Jay's gonna Look, open he be, up a GoFundMe. He be shaving under his arms. What you gonna open up a GoFundMe for? Get a new mattress for T. <laughs> 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 Bye y'all Again This time we mean it I know we closed out last time But this time it's for real I can't get you out of my mind It's like I feel it for the first time Been thinking about you all night I've been searching for this all my life You're just my type I've been